Welcome once again to Chinese Pod coming to you from Shanghai, China, bringing you lessons in spoken Mandarin. Today's lesson is a newbie lesson. And that means it's an absolutely simple, in fact, it's probably as simple as it gets around yes. here. It's really simple today. My name is Ken Carroll. And I'm Jenny. Great. And uh, the topic today, Jenny, would be precisely what? Have you eaten? Have you eaten? Mm, okay. Which is a Chinese way of saying hello. Hello, indeed. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People ask this question all the time. Have you eaten? Have you eaten? Mm. It is um, uh, probably if you know people or if you're like working in the same place and stuff like that yeah. in particular. You know, you saw somebody in the morning and you know them and then you just see them in the yes. lunchtime. Oh, have you eaten? Mm. So let's listen to it. Dialogue first time. 吃过了吗? 吃过了。你呢? 我也吃过了。Second time. 吃过了吗? 吃过了。你呢? 我也吃过了。Third time. 吃过了吗? 吃过了。你呢? 我也吃过了 Ah, uh, okay, let's translate it now 吃过了吗? Have you eaten? 吃过了吗? Have you eaten? 吃过了吗? 吃过了。你呢? Yes, I've eaten. How about you? 吃过了。你呢? Yes, I've eaten. How about you? 吃过了。你呢? 我也吃过了。Yes, I've eaten too. 我也吃过了。I've eaten, eaten too. 我也吃过了。Okay, too. 我也吃过了。okay now, really, let's keep it short and simple here today. Mm. The verb to eat is 吃, 吃。and that's yes. first tone. Yes. And the pinyin is spelt C H I. C H I. Now when you hear it, it sounds like there's a, almost an R yes. ring to it, but yeah. in fact when the pinyin spelling, you know, it's C H I. Welcome back to another installment of Chinese Pod Trivia. And the question for you is, for what test does Chinese Pod offer preparation services for? Is it A, the polygraph, B, the colonoscopy, C, the HSK test, or D, the CAT scan? Uh, the CAT scan? Ooh, sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer is C, the HSK test. That's right, Chinese Pod will thoroughly prepare you to pass this rigorous test of proficiency in Chinese. ChinesePod.com forward slash HSK. Now, and so the sentence again was 吃过了吗? 吃过了吗? Great. Now, the ma here indicates that it's a question. Yes. And so when you put 吃过了, it indicates a past tense mm. or a, what we sometimes uh, call a present, present perfect, perfect aspect. Yes. Grammar, don't worry about too much. Essentially, the verb to eat, the ma at the end indicates it's a question, and ma without too much explaining, explanation means, have you eaten? Mm. ma yes. uh, you'll hear it all the time. Yeah. And one answer is... 吃过了。吃过了。Great. Right. Now, notice that this sentence is essentially the same as the first, yes. without, without the, the ma, the ma mm. at the end. 吃过了。Mm means have eaten. Yeah. You don't need a pronoun. You no. don't need to say I have. You can just say 吃过了. have eaten. As yes. it was. And now you want to ask your friend, have you? How about you? You say 你呢? 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 Mm. Now 你 means you. Yeah. And the na indicates here also a question. A question. Uh. 你呢? 你呢? And again, this can be used in any context mm. when, you, when you're responding and, you know, you, you want to know about the, your interlocutor. You oh, can say... Such a good word. 你呢? 你呢? 
Mm. Nina, how about you? Great. And in this case, uh, now remember the key sentence here is 吃过了，吃过了，吃过了，吃过了。Right.、Mm. Sorry. Now, ah,、uh, so you want to say, "I have also eaten," and you say, 我也吃过了，我也。吃过了。Now the yeah third tone there、yes. means also. Yeah. Okay. The pronoun、mm. 我 meaning I.、Mm. So 我也 meaning I also. Me too. I've also. And then you had the verb eaten. 吃吃过了。Great. 我也吃过了 meaning、mm. I've eaten too. Yes. There you go. It's pretty simple. Yeah. Let's listen to it three more times. Dialogue first time. 吃过了吗？吃过了。你呢？我也吃过了。Second time. 吃过了吗？吃过了。你呢？我也吃过了。Third time. 吃过了吗？吃过了，你呢？我也吃过了。Great, there you have it. It's a short lesson. That's what you、mm. say. You see somebody around lunchtime and you ask them the question. 吃过了吗 ？Great, and the reply is quite likely to be. 吃过了。And then they'll ask you. 你呢 ？Great, and you can say. 我也。吃过了。Great, there、mm. you go. There's a whole conversation there. Yes. Um,、uh, you can、uh, explore this language a lot more detail on ChinesePod.com. But for now, short lesson today.、Yeah. Hope it was useful. We'll be back again tomorrow with another. Bye. Bye. As usual, ChinesePod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number zero three eight nine. So just go to www.chinesepod.com/slash zero three eight nine, and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again: www.chinesepod.com/slash zero three eight nine.